15 years in prison for the 2008 Mumbai attack mastermind in Pakistan. The conviction and sentencing of top Lashkar e Taiba, let terrorist Sajid Majid Mir strengthened Pakistani officials' arguments as they crossed items off their to do list for submitting a report to the Financial Action Task Force FATF, on the implementation of the action plan to get off its grey list. An anti-terrorist court in Lahore sentenced Mayor, 44, who is accused of being the mastermind behind the 2008 Mumbai attacks, to 15 and a half years in prison in the first week of this month, after finding him guilty of funding terrorism. He also received a 420,000 rupee fine. According to a source, he is now incarcerated in Kot Lokpat. With the exception of a short mention in one of the newspapers, which also failed to garner notice, no one learned of such a significant court decision in such a high-profile case since everything transpired so quietly. His imprisonment, which reportedly occurred in the latter half of April, was likewise hidden from the prying eyes of the media. It should be noted that despite earlier claims of his death from Pakistani officials, Western nations were dubious and requested evidence. Late last year, when FATF evaluated Pakistan's progress on the action plan, this problem essentially turned into a significant sticking point. This was the turning point in Mir's case, which resulted in his arrest. Therefore, Pakistani authorities highlighted their key accomplishments in their progress report on FATF's action plan at the most recent plenary, which included his conviction and punishment. It did contribute to persuading FATF members that Pakistan had completed all necessary obligations. Major issues that have always prevented Pakistan from leaving the grey list were lax prosecution and a low conviction rate for terrorists. In addition to proving that cases involving terror financing against senior leaders and commanders of UN-designated terrorist groups were being pursued seriously, Pakistan had demonstrated an upward trend in the investigation and prosecution of money laundering cases, according to the conclusions of the FATF's June 2022 plenary meeting. A technical team was sent to the country to verify the implementation of anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing, as well as to make sure that they were sustained and backed by the necessary political commitment. The watchdog ultimately determined that Pakistan had substantially completed the two action plans, which each covered 34 items.